Now that we deeply understand that darkness has nothing to do with black as in culture, but black as in divine femininity, the occult, the truth of the matter, we elevate consciousness. We elevate the conversation, therefore elevating the world's view on interconnection. Superficially, the world has attempted intertwining in ways that are natural. And one of the most obvious ways is through SEX. No, I'm not going to talk about interracial relationships and any of that. Go backwards into my archive of February Aquarian videos where I really delved deep into the asexuality that is most attractive to people, which is that of toxicity. So having moved into a place of elevated consciousness, I now look at the ways in which darkness attracts me from a place of it no longer being dangerous yet satisfactory. And as a Scorpio, I am naturally attracted to everything darkness, yet uncaging myself from the illusion, I realize that I'm attracted to satisfactory darkness, whole darkness, and that darkness no longer looks like toxicity in trauma bonds, yet it looks like chemical X, a superpower, a way in which I attract through my hotness, the hotness of the divine masculine, which I have learned this trauma bond now healed stems from unfinished business of the origins of my sisterhood. My sisterhood being the female predecessors who were the original living goddesses, a role that I have inherited. And at that time, goddesses needed men and Isis taught men to love women. And those men who were chosen directly by the goddess due to their natural chemistry to protect and provide for her, naturally developing as sexual relationships that were romantic, that became the marriages we now know of as divine unions, rare, priceless unions that are not for everybody. Not everybody will experience that because it is that of a royal destiny. So as a royal, I receive as my birthright my God. And my God and I have unfinished business. That unfinished business being how he started off in unconditional love and awareness. And it bloomed into a toxicity due to him as a man not feeling whole enough and worthy enough to protect his goddess. And that stemmed into all the unnatural disasters that we see between <laughs> femininity and masculinity that are now being healed. Yet the point of the matter is this. I know divine masculines are moving through the fear of me being trouble. A trouble that I have now recognized as the unfinished business that needs to be handled in the bed between me and that man. So there is nothing to fear. I don't fear it because it allows for that fun, playful chemistry that every relationship needs. Challenge. <laughs>